Hello everyone, I'm Daryl Tillingham, and my debut novel, Kappa Quartet, was included in the Library of Necessary Books at 2219 Futures Imagined. I also took part in the book description sessions conducted as part of Art Science in Focus, The World Around the Corner. Um, I hope you enjoy this video essay slash diary uh, that I put together for the Art Science Museum. It was the 4th of May, 2020. I woke up in a daze that morning with a real, almost aching tenderness in my heart. It was around half past six, I remember. The sun had yet to rise, my curtains fully drawn. It was still dark in my room, in which I allowed myself to remain still. I was still rising, I realised, from whatever depths that had held me captive over my sleep. And then I heard it. The rain. I heard the rain begin to fall outside. I can imagine how hard it might be to think of a life surrounded by books and to have a mind constantly preoccupied by the making of them. But that's me, I suppose. I'm a chronic planner and a compulsive organizer, especially when it comes to my fiction. Right now, I am working to finish the final draft of my second novel, with the intention of starting a collection of short stories right after. I would imagine that these two books would remain my top priority. And yet there I was, in my bed, overwhelmed by the heartache I was still nursing in my chest, with an inexplicable rush of feeling that overcame me, just as it had started to rain. I opened my notes. I found myself pulling open the drawer of my mind, opening the pages of a new novel, one that I had no intention of starting anytime soon. And yet I typed on, miraculously penning what appeared to be the opening sentence of this novel. I looked at it and reread it, still in a daze. The new sentence of a new novel, much like the start of a new dream. It felt like a gift I didn't ask for, a gift I didn't think myself capable of receiving. It is a confusing time, and yet the season brings new clarity as well. I find my priorities shifting, realigning. I've taken on new hobbies too, like running. I'm always running. I've been running three times a week, up and down inclined paths. I find myself in cul-de-sacs I forgot had existed and am forced to turn around. And I revisit spaces too. Spaces that call out to me. Strange and peculiar. There's an emptiness to these spaces and I fill them briefly with my presence, which makes me wonder if I am having a romance with my neighborhood. I wonder if this is what it means to love a place. You see, the mind wanders freer the more the body is constrained. As a writer, I can feel it, the stories, or at least the shape of them, the new shapes they are taking on as they continue to come to me. As a person, I find myself caught in a curious interstice. I am alone and yet I am not. I am safe and well taken care of, and yet surrounded all the same by danger. I am steeped in the familiar and in the domestic, the everyday, while realizing still that none of this, surely, is normal. I was at my loneliest when I wrote my first book, a phase which I had reconciled with, come to love even, and believed I ultimately left behind. But that's not true. We are all lonely to varying degrees. Loneliness is the point to which we all return. I have learned to be accepting of that, the truth that we carry within us all. And that while the world might have stopped, life doesn't stop, love doesn't stop, desire doesn't stop. And the words, the imagination that we cling to, that we choose to occupy our minds with, regardless of whatever is happening on the outside world, all of these things will not stop. And so the stories, surely, will not stop too. I stay on the path and keep on.
I hope everyone enjoyed the video. Uh, do remember to take care of yourself and take care of other people, the people in your life, the people that you love, especially in these trying times. Uh, if you'd like to follow me, you can find me on Instagram and on Facebook. Thank you! Thank you.